Today we're doing the University of Waterloo CCC 2021 Junior 1 problem, Boiling Water. Now I'm not going to read this whole thing, but essentially what it says is it's going to give you an input, and the input is going to be B, which is the uh, temperature of the water. Um, so the temperature of the water is the input, and that's here, this 99. From that B, you can calculate a P, which is the pressure that it's currently at, and then from the pressure, uh, you can tell if the pressure is less than uh, 100, then that means that it's above uh, sea level, in which case you uh, print out a 1. If it's at sea level, so meaning if it's exactly at 100, then you print out a 0. And if it is uh, greater than 100, then means it's below sea level, that would mean that you print out a negative 1. So that is basically the entire problem. So let's get started right away. This shouldn't be too, too hard. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a variable for B, so int B. Okay, and then we're gonna have to take in the input for B. Now, then the next thing we're gonna have to do is calculate the P, so we're gonna say int P is equal to, and the equation they give you is five times B minus 400. Okay, like that. And then what you're supposed to do is output the P value. So right away, we're gonna output the P value and it has to be on its own line. So we're gonna have an end line character there. In Java, that would be a system out print line instead of a system out print. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna to have to say is a one, a negative one, or a zero, depending if it's at sea level, below sea level, or, um, or above sea level. So we're gonna just say if P is equal to 100, Okay, that's the sea level one. So then we would say C out um, a zero. Okay, it's so zero for C level. Um, else if P is equal to or greater than 100, that means it's above, if it's, if it's greater than 100, that means it's actually below C level. So we print out a negative one, C out negative one like that. And then if it's not equal to or less than, then it must be greater than. So then we would just say C out um, a one like that. And I believe that's actually the whole problem. So let's compile this. And well, we can test it against the test data given to us. So test data is 99 and the output should be 95 and one. That's good. And then the other test data that's given to us is 102, in which case it should be 110 and negative one. And there we go, 110, negative one. All right, so it seems to work. Let's go and throw this into the grader and see how we do. All right, so that's my code there and we're ready to compile. So we'll just go and run it to compile, mostly correct. And there you go, all of them correct. And you know, that one's a pretty simple one. So from there, we're gonna go on and will join me for the next video, which will be J2.